Welcome back to another episode of Light Beer, Dark Money. I'm Sean Noble. And I'm Chris Clements. We are coming to you from Washington, D.C. Can you believe it? We're back. We're back. We did this Your year old ago. stomping ground, as, <laughs> as mine as well. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time here, that's for sure. You spent a lot more time than I did, um, traveling yeah. these hallowed halls. Yes. You can't uh, travel them like you used to, though. No, it's, uh, it's definitely different than it used to be. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to call it the people's house when it's hard to get in. It's it's you can't go through the uh, uh, through the basement of the Capitol without that's, being escorted. Now. That's right. I used to escort our entire sort of beer delegation through the through the through back the walls of the yeah. tunnels because I knew you how to really do that. Cool, right? I thought oh, I was I really great. I can but, get uh, you the shortcuts. But then, but now it's you have to be escorted. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, it's it's sad. We used to we used to. Um, well, some guests that we've had on the show, John Hart and Andrew Bond. John's going to be joining us here in D.C. here later. And uh, we used to drink scotch and smoke cigars on the Capitol steps. That's right. Can't do that anymore. Nope. Nope. Those no, were the good no, old days. Frowned upon for that. Yeah. So well, uh, big news, I guess. The biggest news. But I don't know. There's lots of big news. But the the most... The big news that laid the latest is that yeah, Hunter pick, Biden pick the news. Hunter Biden was found guilty yes. of these gun charges. I know. And the reaction has been quite interesting. Yes. Uh with Lead Democrats, us through the reaction. So because the Democrats it's been hilarious. Democrats really. are uniformly, I mean, every single one of them. No one is above the law. No one is above the no law. No one is above the law. Okay. Well, good for you to say that. Um and obviously that is a, even though that this was the least of the charges that could be brought against Hunter Biden. Yes. 100%. Money laundering. Yeah. Well, the tax stuff, the all tax that. stuff. So the, this, yeah, which, now, which actually he's going up uh, on trial in September. On right. Um, tax but evasion. this one, I mean, this does have the potential of, of lengthy jail time. Now he won't go 25 years. No, his, um, his father will pardon. You do. You think so? I, I absolutely think he was lying to ABC News when he said he would not. That's that's ludicrous. Of course, he's going to pardon him. Really? Certainly, if he loses the election, well, he say, will if he pardon loses, him for immediately. Sure. I, but I think he pardons him regardless, and doesn't care about the consequences of that. It's his son. He can't emotionally. I think those emotions are. are I got to take them at face value. They're probably very real. This kid has been a complete. You know, has been his bag bag boy for for better part of two decades, running interference for his father on everything between China and Ukraine and Russia and everything else. He's made the family a lot of money. So I would I would imagine that weighs on the president, and he knows he needs to pardon him. So here's a question: Does he pardon him for that, like? Basically, I mean, I guess this is a question that I don't know the answer to, and we should find out. You're stumped? Oh my I'm stumped on this. Can he pardon him for any crimes he may be... Uh, now and in the future? Yeah, now and in the future. I don't or, think, you know, so I don't like think now the, and in the future. If, the, if the, a Trump Justice Department decides to pursue some things, well, would he be... Like the monitor, the the money laundering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, apparently, a lot of the st- statutes of lim- limitations ran out on some of the things they could have charged him with. Right. In, in this case, and that's been and, one, and so so that goes to the Republican response, which is some have said, "Oh, they should, he should appeal, and this should be thrown out because of Second Amendment concerns." Yes. Others have said this is this was just a red herring of a case to distract from the real issues that they've done uh you know it's it's kind of there's there's not a uniform response from the the right yeah which not surprising uh no there's there's uh there's people like charlie kirk who says don't don't believe the verdict it was a show trial to from the beginning the judge actually caught the justice justice department trying to whitewash this entire thing and therefore, they had no intention of going through with this from the beginning. So they only went through it to save face for the big guy. Hmm. And that's all this is about. It's all this about this narrative. Nobody is above the law. My son is not above the law. We should respect the rule of law as they violate the rule of law when it comes to Trump. Yeah. Is well, is the argument on the right. Interesting. But, uh, you know, will, will he do jail time? 
No. I don't think he'll do an think ounce so. of jail time. Well, I guess so I versus said, Trump, who I think is going to jail. You do. I do. See, I, I I still don't. I do. I think this judge has to make a name for himself. I think in order to make a name for himself, he's got to go all the way. And I think he's there's I was listening to a podcast yesterday with our good friend Tom Fitton, and he was illustrating how James Comey on in very in a very non overt fashion is sending what he called smoke signals to the judge to do precisely that which is to jail Donald Trump. Now, I think that's a bad idea for our republic, and it's a bad idea for the Democrats if they want to actually pull well, off this election. It, it's absurd based on what they tried him for. Well, of course. I mean, a first-time offender for a paperwork violation. Did you hear what Comey said, though? How he could be jailed at Rikers? They could set up a double wide in the courtyard and keep him there away from the general population. Keep That's... everything away from him and just keep him there at Rikers, our former president. <laughs> what does that say to the world that Joe Biden is willing to put his chief opponent well, for the presidency? I, 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 to... I, I don't think you can say this is Joe Biden. I mean, How this can you is... say it's not? Well, it's it's a DA in Manhattan who campaigned on the promise of prosecuting Trump. I mean, this you don't believe this is all coordinated. No, I don't believe it's coordinated. I believe that they're all they all believe they all want to see him in jail. But how did the number three guy at the Justice Department go down there and work for you are giving you are giving Joe Biden way. Oh, way, I, I'm not way saying Joe Biden. Credit. I'm not saying Joe shit. Biden doesn't even know shit about this. <laughs> Joe right? Biden doesn't know where he is, yeah. and we saw that the other day on in the White House during the Juneteenth uh, I mean, celebration. It, it, this is not a this is not a Joe Biden dictated thing. Now, is it is Democrat? It Obama? Is it, it maybe, perhaps? But the point is, is that the way is, to get is, Michelle is there, in charge? Is there a conspiracy? Yeah, probably, probably. I mean, I, I, that's I, it's it's. I don't think it's a coincidence. That a number three DOJ guy goes to work at a Manhattan DA's office just at the right time to lead the prosecution on this. Yeah, there's a conspiracy. But this isn't cooked up from the White House. This is this is the sinister forces of of the Democrat operation. You don't which, think which, all the lawfare is coming directly from the White House? I do not. Ever? You don't. I do not. The White I, House has n the White I, House. Is, I absolutely disagree with you. I, look, the, you're, you're giving the White House way too much credit. So okay. Joe Biden is not aware. And the people around, immediately around Joe Biden in the White House are not the ones running the government. They're being uh, uh, directed. Then, they're being directed by whom? That seems more conspiratorial than anything. It is more conspiratorial because it's outside of the function of government. It is the shadow government. Of the, the former Obama people. The, the deep state, which is not deep. It's not deep. Which I mean, is in our face. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. we know for a fact that Nathan the Wade, state. who is Fannie Willis's boyfriend, had meetings with the White House on this case. We know that the, the Biden Justice Department went after Trump for these the documents case in a, in a way that was unnecessary in terms of the raid on Mar-a-Lago. That was coordinated. The number three from the Justice Department went to go escort this case, not knowing in, in New York, not knowing what the outcome would be. Um, the judge in this case is com severely compromised, giving money mm -hmm. to Biden and to uh, anti-Trump um, you know, politi political action committees or, right. or independent expenditure committees. So and and his daughter is raising money off of this trial. We know that that she's yeah. raised millions of dollars off of this trial in her father's name. So forgive me if it doesn't seem all too fishy. Well, look, it's and we've said this before. It is lawfare at, it, by yeah, any stretch. It's lawfare and and again, I'll say it, the answer is not to return fire with fire. I mean, I think But that don't we you have think to, you have to return fire at least once to make it stop? I just win. The best the best solution to this is just win okay. the election. All right. Then the contrary opinion to that is we win and then we do nothing. It's not that we do nothing. It's we dismantle the federal government. Well, that would be a nice thing to do, except the will the open state, the state 
You well, know? I this is this is this is why Allow we that need, to happen. This, this is why we need to have we people need to who have understand how massive to, majorities. Yeah, we have to do to have, that. Well, we do. We're not going to get massive majorities at this point, perhaps, but we can do a lot. Which is, which is why we have the mess I mean, we, we can have do right a lot. now. We can do a lot with the House and the Senate and a Republican president. We, in fact, we need to do more but, than but what. But we keep shooting ourselves in the foot as a Republican Party, as conservatives. Like one of the most stalwart conservatives who I, I believe from a, from a tax and, and economic philosophy was a guy named Paul Ryan. He became you know, Speaker of the House. He fought Trump on every major initiative that Trump had, specifically um, on immigration reform and, and building the wall. Fought him tooth and nail. Did he? He did. He did. And that wall did not get built. I think we need to take stock of who's leading us, who's willing to, to get things done, to your point. I'm not disagreeing with you on the point, but come on, guys. Well, get, I, look, we get busy. It, it is, is what's interesting to me is it, and this happens, this happened to Obama in 2009, 2010. It happened to Trump in 2017 and 2018. They had a full majority and they, you know, squandered it. Now, Obama passed Obamacare. Uh, with his majority, now they did but, that but, by but, trickery. Yeah, um, with the, it wasn't what he wanted. No, that it, it definitely wasn't what he wanted, um, and uh, and Trump didn't get as much done with a full majority. You know, with all with both houses of the Congress yeah. as he could have. The greatest thing he did was was of course the two, 2017 tax reform act. Yeah. So the so the the the, the most important thing for people. Who want to see, uh, you know, a return of sanity is, and this will rub some people the wrong way when they when I say this, but it is to return Trump to the White House. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> say that again. It, 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 <laughs> the way to return sanity to America is to put Trump in the White House with a Republican majority in the House, a Republican majority in the Senate. I mean, that's that's just necessary. Uh, in order to stop this absolute craziness that is spinning out of control. Yeah, and we're seeing it on all levels. Economic policy, foreign policy, social policy. It's it's a complete mess. It's yeah. a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Um, Byron Donald's son. Is that Byron Donaldson. Bonner Donaldson. Congressman from Florida. Yeah, congressman from Florida was interviewed the other day, and um, he was very clear about, like, Biden is just— the mess, what 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 do you say, the 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 mess that keeps on giving or something like that. Right, well, that would be true. Um, speaking of Byron Donaldson, he's one of the uh, the folks on the list of people who have been asked for more information as a potential VP pick. So there's six or seven folks who have been asked by the Trump campaign to give, you know, fill out. The long form, so to speak, you know, start doing the deep dive yeah. on their backgrounds. And, yeah, and he said in that remember, interview that he was really honored to be asked. Yeah, so that so and he would absolutely accept. It's Governor of North Dakota and former presidential candidate Doug Burgum. It's uh, very nice guy, Byron smart Donaldson. Guy. It's uh, Elise Stefanik, Congresswoman from Upper from State New, New York. York. Um, who am I missing? Uh, Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio. And Tim Scott. Tim Scott. There's one more, right? J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance. Yes. So, so out of those, well, you you study this probably more completely than I do, and I have my own opinions. But out of those, who do you think might be in in, in the front line? Well, the, it's so so if you look at it from things that would be ads to Trump, right? Yes. So additions. Marco Rubio, clearly near the top of the list on you're adding an element of, one, a lot of Reagan-type Republicans who feel a little bit squeamish about Trump. Gotcha. Like Rubio. He, he, he talks about Re American exceptionalism. He is very much in the Reagan mold. He was a Reagan baby. Um, he's got phenomenal foreign policy chops. 
I mean, this guy's been on the foreign on the foreign affairs committee and the intelligence committee, so he knows. He's a master stuff. communicator. He's very good. He is. He understands the threats of communism, being a the son of Cuban refugees. Um, and well, that's the other part is that he's Hispanic. Yes, and he's Hispanic. So there's which, some appeal which there. Which Trump is expanding his lead. Yeah. Right now with the Latino community. And another person who is an ad would be Tim Scott, mm-hmm. African American, South Carolina. South Carolina is going to be firmly Trump, but and Florida for Marco Rubio will be firmly Trump. But it's the the what he brings. Tim Scott grew up poor. He is an actual descendant of slaves. So this would be the first time that we had a person who is a descendant of slaves uh, as the vice president, unlike. Kamala Harris, who is the descendant of slave owners <laughs> from Pakistan. I can't believe you said that, but um, I'm glad you did. And, you know, so I I still don't quite understand why Kamala Harris is considered African-American, but because she's not. Or one of her parents? Um, Cause she, one of her cause, parents was Indian. Well, right? it's Indian, right? Yeah. I mean, she's the first. She's mixed race. She's the first Asian-American. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, Tim Scott definitely adds. Okay. Um, and he's engaged. Oh, good. <laughs> Lee Stefanik, an ad because she's you a think? woman. Just simply because she's a woman. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think in terms of policy or gravitas, she adds much. No, but I think that the, having a woman on the ticket is not a bad thing. She is the only woman who's been she's asked for the deep dive. She's not going to overshadow dive. Trump either. No, from that perspective, it's interesting to me that she's the only woman who's been asked for the deep dive. Um, then you look at Doug Burgum. You know, nice guy. He's got good hair. He looks the part. Really nice He's guy. He's been a great governor. Brilliant guy. He's businessman. A businessman uh, understands Trump's thinking. But what regard. does that add? And in a state that doesn't get you anything. No, I it it maybe and, it maybe and, and a personality that doesn't really does not translate to the broader electorate, but definitely stays out of his way. Yes. So so there's doesn't no ad over, doesn't overshadow. Does there's no ad, but comfortable for Trump because he's successful. He likes the fact that he's rich, right? That's, and he that's an interesting point. Yeah, okay. that's probably true. J.D. Vance adds nothing. Adds nothing. No, just Ohio. Which he has anyway. He has he's, got a, he's got a 10-point lead. I, 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 I J.D. Don't wrote know a great what, book. But I don't know what J.D. It. brings that Trump doesn't already have. Yeah. J.D. basically predicted Trump with his hillbilly elegy. elegy, elegy. Um, but he doesn't actually... There, when I mean, we're talking just... For this. It's, it's not that he's not a good guy. It's not that he'd be a great vice president. I think he's it's really come be, into his own as a senator. No, I, I think... Where a lot of people are like, ah, I don't know about this but guy, but he's, he's but really good. But he doesn't add anything. Yeah. Okay? Um, and then... I think that's it. Oh, my goodness. No, if, you know who we're not talking about? The person that he should pick. Oh, Byron, Dor- uh, Byron Donaldson. Oh, Byron Donaldson. So, Byron Donaldson, African-American. Donalds. Um, Byron Donalds. Donald. Donald, not, it's not Donald, Donaldson, okay. it's Donalds. Donalds. Byron Donalds. African-American congressman from Florida. Uh, definitely oh, an ad. Master of disaster. That was the correct quote oh, okay, from Byron okay. Donalds. Right. My Master apologies to our listeners. So, Master of disaster. Byron, because everything is that he touches has been a disaster. Yeah. So Byron of Biden. is uh, African-American. Very good guy. Uh, Met him very dynamic. In, in Phoenix some time ago. Nice guy. Yeah. Great guy. And... And gets it. Big guy. Yeah. Did he play football? He looks yeah, like he I played think football. So. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Very articulate. Very articulate. Really. As Harry Reid would say, an articulate, clean black man. No, that would be Joe Biden said that. <laughs> no, Harry Reid said Did that Harry about Reed Ob- Obama. Uh, really? Yes. I thought it was Joe Biden said that. Oh, uh, we're going to have to look that yeah, up. Yeah, I thought Biden said that. Well, because Biden has said those those things, you know, about all sorts of folks. But no, I mean, I mean that sincerely. Not even thinking about skin color. He's he um, is a big guy. He his speeches are, are rousing. They're really good. He's quick on his feet. On oh, you're a, right. It was w- Biden within a debate. He would be excellent. I would. I would. I, it would be interesting. To, I think between Tim Scott, and Byron Donalds, 
and Marco Rubio, a, a debate with Kamala would be hilarious. She would be a word salad sandwich with those guys. <laughs> Biden. I mean, you got the first mainstream African-American who's articulate and bright and clean See? and a nice looking guy. Yeah, he said that while oh he was. Oh, my gosh. That's before he, he lost his mind. <laughs> that, that was when they were running. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That was when he was at the Indian 7-Eleven, but, but, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. And, you know, in 7-Eleven, but, said but derogatory Harry comments Reed about that. Harry Reid did say something similar about Obama because he was grooming Obama to run for president. Sure. As soon as he got to the Senate because Harry Reid didn't like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Nobody liked Hillary Clinton, which is why Trump was elected. Oh, boy. People people think it was it's so much more complicated than that in 2016, but really it was very simple. People, no, she went, was very people went to the ballot box and they're like, I, I don't know about him. I'm willing to take a chance. I don't like her. Well, and, and here you actually raise a very good juxtaposition or a segue into what I think people are missing. Completely unplanned. In but 2020. I'm happy I did it. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this usually happens. That yes. Way this is why we us. call this our rant. Um, in 2020. Joe Biden ran as the person who was going to be the adult. Yes. He was going to bring, you know, gravitas back to the White House. He was going to bring the adults back to in charge. He was going to reestablish American dominance in the world. And everyone saw what Trump was doing. And there were, you know, there was he was challenged. They had taken a risk on him because they didn't like Hillary. And now they're like, oh, it's been a little bit crazy. Let's go with the guy who's going to make things calm. He's been an abject failure no, he's on what he ran on. the entire world into a complete He's and been total an abject failure show. for what he ran on, which is, I'm telling you, is going to have real impact on people who voted for Trump in 2016, voted for Biden in 2020. Where are they going to go? They're going to go back to Trump. Well, yeah. They're going to go back to Trump, Be almost to a person, is my guess. If you voted for Trump in 2016 and then you voted for Biden in 2020, well, you know who it's almost should, certain you're going to You know who we Trump. should have on now? It should be time for Rich Tao's you know, fourth appearance yeah. on Light Beer, Dark Money, yeah. because he's been doing some great uh, focus groups on this right. with Trump voters who then switched to Biden and where they are now and what they're thinking is. You have to think that because of foreign policy because of i mean going back to byron donald's po point master of disaster yeah foreign policy it, disaster border. economy disaster border disaster by any measurable metric he's been even a disaster just the data just the data he's been yeah. a complete this disaster is, this, as a president it's, it's not an object oh, it's not a and he went to normandy and plagiarized ronald reagan yeah I mean, it's not a subjective thing. I was hoping it's, we would get to that a little bit, but he actually plagiarized Ronald Reagan. He did. He did. Just like he plagiarized people back in the 80s when Which he was running for president. It, he, it, what, what I gosh. didn't realize is that he gave two speeches. He gave you one on, the, one on the actual day. On the day. And then the day after the day is after when he actually plagiarized Reagan. Yep. Which it's like. Which wasn't covered. No. Which wasn't covered. I don't understand. The day before is, is when he pooped his pants on stage. Maybe. No, he did. You think Absolutely. he did? I think he did. Right. And I think that's why Jill Biden rushed who, him off, who should be ashamed of herself for, for the elder abuse that she's committing, ushered him off the stage as quickly as she could. As she, they quickly did, as she could. They did get him out of there. And Macron stayed around and was taking And he pictures shook hands and, shook and hands he was great. And, yeah. I mean, for he he was he was he Macron elevated himself for the moment. So did so many other people that yeah. day. Our president pooped his pants on the world stage and okay. was escorted off the stage by his doctor. I, Biden. I don't know if that's true. I think he was just confused as to whether he be, should be sitting down or not. Yeah, but, he, but he, he went to sit and he paused for quite some time. Well, he didn't want to fall. Okay. He, he looked back and recognized <laughs> there wasn't a chair. So, you know, okay. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> you can give him the benefit of the doubt. Look, if he has... Just like at the Juneteenth, he was he was there. He was feeling the music. He just couldn't move his body. Was he feeling it? I don't know. I don't know if he was feeling it or not. But <laughs> just couldn't move. I Let me put it this way. I think that if he has pooped his pants as many times as people think he has, <laughs> which feels yes. like it's a lot lately, we would actually... Have heard something from somebody. It would there would be a leak. There's just no way that 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 doesn't 
Yeah, it's kind of interesting how there's not that many leaks about Joe Biden from the from the White House. I mean, per they, se, give them credit like Donald Trump. for being a locked down. They are locked down because yeah. you. I mean, that Wall it's Street actually, Journal article it, it last actually week is uh, admirable. Yeah, the, the, the Wall ways. Street Journal last week uh, article, which talked about you know he's my, he, maybe he's not as as with it as people claim. Um. And they got some people on the record on that. Yeah, that was, you know, they McCarthy was on the record. Well, actually, McCarthy was the only one that was on the record negative. Um, but they, but, the but, White but House what McCarthy was, said actually was both both true but uh, complimentary. I mean, one thing that people keep saying, you, you know, don't disbelieve your eyes. If you go back and look at the debate between Paul Ryan and Joe Biden, go back and look at it. He won that debate. Joe Biden did. Even, and I... We were rooting for Paul. Right. You know, our former bartender over at Tortilla Coast. And we were absolutely rooting for Paul. Joe Biden won that debate. And then you see this this gradual progression into what we have now. And we're beating a dead horse. But I, I, I think your, your pronouncement that he's going to be replaced, they're waiting for this debate. They're waiting to see what he does on the 27th, whether he poops his pants on stage with Trump. <laughs> Or whether he's able to hold his own and 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 live to fight another day, I I all Trump has to do is keep quiet. I and the question is whether he will. <laughs> whether he will I or mean, not. That's, that's that's is he going to throw Joe the lifeline or is he just going to let him? Just going to let him. Just I let him know. go. We'll see. Just let him fade away because because Joe's going to come out fighting. They're going to have him pumped up full of whatever they pump him up full. Yeah, he will. And then within within thirty minutes, that's the magic hour. He'll start to fade. And Trump needs, I don't know who's coaching him, but he needs to just take a step back, let it go. Don't don't banter him, because then you're good people will have sympathy for for Joe if yeah. he banters him. Just let him fade. Yeah. Let well, him fade away. I think that's be good respectful, advice. be honorable, but and and you you can be combative at the beginning, but at the in the middle, just let the man go. Yeah. Because you will have won. Well. But we'll you hear her first. If you want to get our country back, vote for, <laughs> vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> Sean, Sean Noble says to vote for Donald Trump. And we have not been kind to the former president on this show. No, we've been honest. But we but we believe in intellectual honesty. And we be, we call, I think we we try to do a good job of calling balls and strikes well, for it, either it's, side. I mean, it just, it's fundamentally that Joe Biden has been a disaster for the country. And and fundamentally, we actually weep for our country because we don't want our president to be in the state that Joe Biden is in. Right. It's not good for our country. It's not good for our presence on the international stage, which we saw last week during the D-Day celebration. Um, it's, it's not a good look. And it's nope. not what America is about, regardless of your thoughts of Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Right. All right. Well, All on right. that note... <laughs> Take keep, care, everybody. Keep in tune with our Lost in D.C. <laughs> series. God All bless right. you. Take care.